Hi gang, Scott here. On this video, I'm talking about a Photoshop technique. And Photoshop isn't something I talk very much about on my channel here. I don't turn to it very often, but when I need it, there are certain things it does incredibly well. And one of those things is aligning layers when you haven't necessarily used a tripod or the individual frames are just not quite aligned to begin with. It's uh, not even close in this case here. I guess I can say it's close, but it's not uh, very, very good. I have these two photos here of this cool corridor and uh, I liked the alignment of this, but it had this person come walking through. I didn't mind the person way at the distance. I took a second photo and you can see, okay, I got it where, you know, there, right, this person, uh, I guess this was my first one I took where the person didn't enter. And then the second one, I got the alignment better on the second one, but then I had someone enter the frame. I was like, ah, oh, you know, I'd like to combine these. Um, let me give this a try in Photoshop, you know, taking the two photos, right clicking, and then sending it over as layers in Photoshop. And uh, let me just show you how the alignment went. Uh, it worked really, really well. Okay, so those two photos have landed in Photoshop. Got my one with the pedestrian coming in and then the one that's a little bit off-centered. It's like, okay, I really want these two to be aligned. I'll select the two layers, the edit menu, and auto align layers. And I chose the auto option. This is really just that simple. And you can see now there's been a, a change. There's some some you know, checkerboard stuff uh, along the border there, because one of the photos had to be rotated, had to be adjusted there. But now, if I toggle this off and on, before and after, I mean, that is, the, the, this is really, really darn close. Now, you're noticing a little bit of shift in the, the lights, and I'm chalking that up to a little bit of breeze. There's minor shifts in the pillars, but I mean, it's so minor that you just don't notice it. And for what I really want to do, which is you know, taking care of removing this particular person, I am good to go because when I turn this off and on, that person and their shadow is just gone. So, you know, creating a mask on the layer here, getting my brush, uh, I'm set to black to paint out, and this person is just easily, easily removed away. I mean, this is we're into, you know, classic tourist removal kind of thing where I don't have to worry about where I'm brushing because what's beneath has got all those clear pixels. And then from here I can do my normal stuff, combine the layers and, and do my other editing work. But uh, this auto align for photos that were, you know, kind of askew and you're taking them handheld, uh, these were with an iPhone. I was really impressed with how well Photoshop handled that alignment. I uh, just, you know, right out of the, the gate, it just nailed it. So I thought I'd make a video, share that with you. If uh, you're like me and don't turn to Photoshop very often, this is a case where you may want to crack open that tool that you don't use very, uh, very often. Hope you found the video useful. Got questions? Go ahead and drop them below. And until next time, my name is Scott Davenport. Have fun.